Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Please excuse my hands. Um, I don't have any nails or anything on because I have to go in the hospital in a few days. If you have not seen my life update video, I'll link it down below explaining why. In this video, I'm gonna share some packaging that I created. Here are the cute little boxes that I made. I was inspired by the Paper Pixie. She had created some Ghirardelli Square treat boxes, so I enlarged her idea and created these. I was going for perfume bottles to put like shaker mixes or small gifts in, but my husband said they look like mason jars. My daughter thinks perfume boxes as well, so that's what I was going for. So for these boxes, I used the Echo Park Wedding Bliss Collection. I got a couple of these when they had their clearance and I really love the black and whites and golds in this paper. I also used some of this glittery foam. These little labels from this Spellbinders die set. When they had a lot of their kits that they were selling on clearance, I bought some and they had these little dies in there. The gold on the other box is some of these card layering pieces. I got these from Tuesday morning and they came in silver and gold. And then I use these dies right here for my borders. This one right here is a Gina Marie Designs die. And the other little squares are created using this Elizabeth Craft Designs. This is the dashing rectangles. I also use my envelope punch board to get those top pieces. And I'll share with you how I did that. And I will also leave a link to the Paper Pixies tutorial down below. So for the first box, I used one of Monica's flowers. Here's where I use that Gina Marie die and the foam. And I just use some, I'll use the Duralar Clear Film. You can get that at the fine arts section. And then here's where I use those little labels again with the foam and some black glitter paper. And then I use this um, sort of brown copper look, copper looking seam binding with black and that's the back of it i really love this damask paper it has that hearts on the inside and then on this one i use that gold background paper and i have some glitter pink on the inside of that because my piece was cut a little big i had some vellum with some roses on it so i used that another one of monica's flowers again with the label on top with the gold paper and some pink and white seam binding so that's how that one looks. And I will share with you how I created it. Create this, you will need a piece of cardstock that measures eight and one fourth by eight. You will also need an envelope punch board or some way to make the top. And then I use dies for this center, but there are ways that you can create that center opening if you have like one of the finger blades. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my scoring on the eight inch side of this paper. And the first score will be at three fourths. And at six. I will turn once to the left, but the, the way you turn the paper really doesn't matter. On the eight and one quarter inch side, I'm gonna score again at three fourths, three and three fourths, four and a half, and seven and a half. And that's all the scoring you're gonna do. Now let's fold on all the score lines. And this is how it looks. So now I'm going to use my envelope punch board 
and this is what I got from the paper pixie how to create this top portion right here I did mine's a little different because her box is smaller than mine mine is wider um, but it's basically the same thing so what she did was on this score mark right here I think she punched hers at one inch I'm going to punch mine at every on every score at two inches so When I say score, I mean this, and I'm on the eight and one quarter inch side. So you just fold the paper, put it at two inches, and punch. and punch now to get this little curve right here at the top of the box what you want to do is this piece right here so I'm at the first score the little piece that comes down you want to have that immediately to the right of where you want that little indention so I'm immediately to the right I'm gonna punch this is what it creates on this one you want to be immediately to the left because you want it on this side so the line will be to the right, the little punch part will be to the left. And you want to do the same thing on these two larger pieces. So the punch is to the right, and then on this one the punch is to the left. And it'll look like that. And that's all the punching that I did. So now, what I did was, for the bottom of the box, you have two little boxes on each end. You can cut one of those off because you want to create the tabs to close the box. So I'm just going to cut this one off here on the right. I'm going to cut up on this one. Angle it a little bit because that'll be the tab to help keep the box closed on the bottom. Come on. And then you want to cut up on this one. And I'm going to angle this piece here. On that side now on the top I'm gonna flip it upside down these little pieces here you can keep those on if you want to but the way my boxes are made these are cut off so I cut them off up to that score line and then I cut on the score line so just cut on the score lines to cut those pieces off And then to get that one, just kind of wedge your scissors in there. Or if you have a finger blade, that works as well. Or you can put it, if you're really good with your trimmer, you can also put it in your trimmer and cut it. But I just kind of wedge my scissors in there because you're going to end up embellishing it and stuff anyway. So, And then this last little piece right here. And then you'll get something that looks like this and if you want to cut this off down there so it'll look even just cut it down to where it opens like that and I can't cut straight so and then this one so it'll look like this so then all you have to do is put it together now um, I didn't use like I was going to use like a glue dot or a velcro dot up here but I didn't I just put it together so you put adhesive here and then adhesive to close the bottom of the box if you want to create the opening in the front the way you do that so you get you some nesting dies these are just some basic rectangles I'm sure a lot of people know how to do this so what you want to do is to create the opening you want to use the smallest die to create the border to go on the outside you want to put the small die and the next larger die up and it'll create a border that goes around this if you're die cutting this the way I die cut mine is I put my die on which, whichever part was the front of my box use some washi tape to secure it 
I put another piece of paper on top so it wouldn't make an indention on the back of the box, folded it over, and then ran it through my die cutting machine. So then all you have to do is put the box together. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, I'll link the Paper Pixies tutorial down below because like I said, her box is a little smaller and it does fit a Ghirardelli square. And it's a really cute, it does look like a perfume box as well, I thought. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you so much for your prayers and your positive vibes. Have a great day. Bye.